Mike is never giving up! Yo, what's up, my peoples? AK Mike, this is ADG Can the Gamer. If you don't know, now you know. This is Rogue Company on the PS5, and this is the update Neo Chrome. Now, the, this update is available for all consoles. This game is available for all consoles, if you didn't know. Uh, I play on the PS5. But we're going to be looking at the trailer for the new update, and then we're going to be like actually booting it up. And I'm going to give you my impressions on the offerings and whatnot. You may not get gameplay in this one. It is what it is. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and impressions of what the, you know, the battle pass and the update is offering. So here we go. Let's go. I'll look at the trailer first. All right, this is the first offering for the brand new year, uh, year two, basically. So that, yes, it's been about a year now. Road Company it has been a year. Road Company has been out. It's been a great ride, though I have to say, and I hate to start off on a negative tip, but Road Company, the community, as uh, probably the new players that came in during the Christmas holiday, but as of late, the Road Company community has been pretty bad. Like the way people play, and it's always the way people play that ruins these multiplayer games. And to me right now, the multiplayer state of video games, I'm thinking about making a video on that as well. The multiplayer state in video games is terrible. And it's mainly because, I hate to say it, you guys, maybe not everyone out there, but a lot of you guys out there, you know what you're doing. Oh, we got a brand new screen. I like that. I like that. Um, Brand new screen. I always love when they update things like this in video games. So that's a plus. That's a plus. Now, like I said, the community ruins these games. And the same thing was going on with Smite at the end of last month. Like everything multiplayer to me has an influx of people who just have no. They just have just just no regards for other people. Like they play by any means. They have no respect for other players, no honor, no honor. There's no honor amongst players right now when it comes to these multiplayer games. And you know what I'm talking about. You'll win by any means necessary. It's just a bunch of camping and grouping all the time. And it's very old and stale. It doesn't matter what you play. It's going on down like that right now. But anyway, the new map meltdown, which allows you to step into high tech and high danger facility. Well, Allow you. Let me read this over again. Watch where you step in this high tech and high danger facility and map meltdown. Plus, experience it in a variety of your favorite game modes. Bring you it up. Now, I am looking forward to the new map. That is one of the definitely probably my favorite thing. So we got Rogue Mastery Awards coming in here because I think. Unlock Switch Play Mastery Animated Avatar. Okay. Maybe we already got the... See, I probably should have did a little more extra reading, but it seems like... You remember the last time I did a video we was talking about how they're going to add more unlockables for your masteries? Well, I've been doing the thing with Switch Play. She's my favorite character. You can see I already unlocked these because I've been playing. I got the legendary banner for her right now. I I expect a little bit more than that. Ugh. It would have been better if they had a picture of her being animated. I do like the fact that they gave us something animated, but still, come on. Legendary, hook us up. But, okay. That's cool, though. I should get more stuff because, like I said, I've been doing the thing. A bundle. It said I got a bundle unlocked, but I don't remember. Okay. That's the PlayStation bundle. Let me go out a little bit. 
Let me show you what that's all about. Go into the game hub and um PlayStation Plus members, you get this new uh season one PlayStation Plus pack. In this PlayStation Plus pack, you'll get 20,000 battle pass experience. You also get the Ultramarine Dima. So that's good, especially if you're gonna be getting the battle pass, it'll give you a nice good start. And that's always a good thing. Um, I don't like I said, I'm I'm tempted to buy this pass, and I may decide during this video. Uh, but part of me is scared to purchase it just because the way the community is like, and the way the new experience system, the XP system is, I'm not really happy with it. I need to test out the XP because XP lately has been they nerfed it, so you don't get much character XP. Uh. Rogue XP, you don't get much, so it takes forever to look to pretty much get your rows going and just unlock things. And it's, oh, I hate it. It's just a terrible grind. It's not much reward in playing these games like it used to be. And you need it constantly, especially with how bad the community is right now. And I just think it's just the wrong time to be doing it. So you can see right here 30 minute account boost. I got the hacker title. Wait a minute, I already unlocked these 30 minute account boost, fluorescent waves, epic border, and the fist bump. All these are free things. And I think because I had, you know, like I said, I got the battle, I got the battle experience in the PlayStation Plus. I'm already at level 14 right out the gate. I like that. So I already got these free things unlocked. Okay. See, now they tempted me a little bit. They tempted me a little bit. I might, I might want to get it now. Okay. Um, if oh snap, oh snap. Okay, 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 okay. I I want to go out though, cause I don't want to look at it from there. All right, so here we go. Battle pass Neochrome, one thousand. That'll be pretty much ten bucks or twenty bucks if you want to unlock the battle pass plus fifteen levels. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I probably shouldn't be saying this. I wouldn't suggest getting the two thousand dollar, the two thousand um, roll book one, just because if you're gonna be playing every day, it ain't gonna be bothering you. But if you don't want to deal with the way the community is lately, and you just want the extra skins and be able to play every now and then, you're going casually, you hop in and out. Then maybe that's your best bet. Go ahead and pay the twenty bucks. But if you're gonna be playing about it every day, you have plenty of time to unlock it. Especially if you got the PlayStation Plus, you're gonna have the boost anyway. And you're gonna go ahead and have that 15 levels. Just a thought about just a thought. I hope they don't stop giving us that uh, battle pass XP and that starter pack. But anyway, you want to unlock get more Robux. Hmm, I'm thinking about doing it. I'm thinking about doing it. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the battle pass. Take a good look at it. One of the reasons why I'm thinking about doing it because you're gonna unlock. This brand new skin for Switchblade. And I already talked about Switchblade, how much I like Switchblade in this video. I'm crazy about Switchblade. He's my favorite character. And it's just the way it is. And that skin is looking nice. So I probably just do it just because I like Switchblade, even if I don't finish it. So I'm probably gonna do that. So what we have is uh a cool cubes epic wing suit. That's okay. Oh my, the OMG high. I don't really like that too much. Got a rare avatar here. The murderous chase. It reminds me of something they gave us already, but it's it's pretty dope. Neutral neener. That's not that great. I'm gonna be honest, we're not getting that many offers. You get three skins, but I guess three skins for 10 bucks, I guess you can't beat that. Um, a lot of these feels are cyberpunkish and anime-ish, like on some Gundam or I'm gonna say like Voltron slash Transformish ish type things, you know. Okay, I like that epic banner for glitch though. I like that. Go down the line a little bit more. Legendary avatar here. Neon double helix. Some of these graphics are really good. Like I said, if you like the cyberpunk kind of scenario, 
the graphics definitely give me that uh the laser sight fixer also dope i don't really use fixer that mo much but with this one with that i might just do it the fluorescent flash that looks dope as well the plasmic arc that looks dope it should be animated though i feel like but it's not really animated that should have been animated. then you got the cyberpunk epic title they just admitting it you know what i'm saying okay all right okay all right now this might be the one this might be the one from here now okay that crushing it got me okay i can i can i can mess with that i can mess with that that's nice uh the nuclear anomaly so at this point i do think it's least worth for 10 bucks the legendary banner looks great uh, then you got the season two avatar like i said it's on some gundam or uh oh man what's the It was a show on Country Roll they, they they just had. It's from, oh man, on Verve, Verve. It's on Verve. Can't think of the name right now. I'm getting old, y'all. I be I be brain farting all the time. But anyway, the Mech Fighter Chalk, pretty nice as well. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, probably the best Chalk skin there is. Some may disagree with me, but. I think it's possibly is the best top skin. Now I think I will be purchasing this. I just wanted to get my impressions out there, uh, my thoughts on it. I do think it's worth the ten bucks. Um, be on the lookout. I'm gonna probably give you guys some Switchblade gameplay in the future. But for now, I just want to get a video out there and talk about the battle pass. The battle pass is out now. Like I said, the new update is out. Wait a sec, wait a sec, before I go though, let's check and see if I did, got any more extra unlockables for the rogues. Or did only certain ones. Yeah, look, they got it for all of them. Wait a sec though. I know she was my highest, but I thought I had some other ones past five. Oh, I can't wait to get that legendary badge right there. That's what I'm talking about. That banner right there, they should have gave us a banner similar to this one that had Switchblade on it and animated like they did with her. They still haven't gave us uh, levels 8 and 9, it seems like. That may be in a, another update in the future. Look like for everyone else. They do got six and seven. Did they even gave him a good animated banner? How are they gonna do Switchblade like that with just a little rocket? And not with her gracing the beauty her her beauty across it. I don't understand. I don't understand that at all. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna end it there. They do have a lot of new mastery rewards as well. So get out there. Let's just pray that they did something about the ranking because the leveling because it was terrible it was terrible the last month or so so with that being said i'll see you guys next show next video i'm out of here